the literal meaning of transpose is interchange, exchange or transfer. Mathematically, the transpose of a matrix is the matrix obtained after interchanging the rows and columns. If A is a matrix of order 3 by 3 and we transpose the matrix, the elements in the first row take the place of the first column. The elements in the second row take the place of the second column and the elements in the third row take the place of the third column. The order however remains the same as 3 by 3. How is transpose of a matrix used in economics? For understanding the use of transpose in economics, let us take a simple example of an economy with only one man and a woman who purchase only two goods, apples and cherries. Suppose the woman consumes two apples and five cherries and the man consumes one apple and two cherries in a day. If we have an additional information about the price of apples and cherries and the price of apple is rupees 5 per unit and the price of cherry is rupees 2 per unit. What is the total expenditure by the woman and the total expenditure by the man? Algebraically, total expenditure may be found out as follows. Total expenditure by the woman is rupees 20 and total expenditure by the man is rupees 9. I would ask you to pause the video and understand the algebra before proceeding further. Now, if we wish to keep a record of this information, we may take the help of the concept of matrix and represent it as follows. The first row shows the number of apples consumed by the woman and the man respectively. The second row shows the number of cherries consumed by the woman and the man respectively. Further, the price of apples and cherries may be written as a price vector as P, where first row shows the price of apples and second row shows the price of cherries. Multiplying matrix R by vector P does not have any economic meaning. But if we interchange the rows and columns of matrix R, we get the transpose of R and then multiplying it with vector P gives R transpose P that is equal to 29. This vector gives exactly the values of the expenditure incurred by the woman and the man and hence has an economic meaning. The first row gives the expenditure by the woman and the second row gives the expenditure by the men. This concept may be used for a large number of people and a variety of goods in an economy.